What's up guys, Sergio Oliva Jr. and Chris Cormier, The Real Deal, and we're gonna hit some arms today. Um, I'm about two weeks out, two weeks, three days, who's counting? Uh, I think I've had 150 grams of carbs in the last couple of days, so I'm pretty depleted, but this is, this is what separates the men from the boys. So, try and get some guns today. Let's go. Get the little the secrets, little tips. still rather be here with zero carbs than back at Gold's with as much carbs as I could eat. I think I'm still happier here. protein shake with just protein water because man it's it's been happening where I'll kill my workout but I used up all everything all my food and everything so then I just I'm doing even if I'm doing the poses man I just feel like I'm just like I don't have it you know yeah, you gotta have that feeling though. right but what I'm saying is today I brought a shake so even if I kill myself I'm gonna drink that and then we need to go pose. Okay. And then that way I know I don't have to worry about being catabolic or none of that. Right. Come on. Let's nice go. Drive it. Drive it. Come on. Come on, you got some more. Right now. Right now. Right now. Give me two, man. Give me two. One. Yeah. I got them, uh, them Roly Winklers yet? That with the face? With the face. Roly, I'm coming. I got the face down, now I just need my arms to look like my legs. So I'm gonna use my Titan grips on this set. Um, if you put these on a straight bar, it makes it into an easy curl bar. Uh, so it's really good for people that don't maybe have that in the gym. I like to put it on a straight bar uh, because it's like an in-between an easy curl bar and a straight bar and it's really good on my elbows. Uh, and it kind of helps me twist as I come up, which is going to give me more peak. So I've been trying to utilize these a lot, especially on arms. Just as you get leaned out, you know, the joints start to take a toll. So I'm just trying to get a better contraction and play it safe. Trying to get that uh, that Ronnie Coleman. Man, you know they said that his, I don't know which arm it was, but whatever's the biggest one, it's the size of a normal person's index finger. I can't even imagine. Hmm? Who did? 
mother had some giant Ron's, Ron, Ronnie's mom? Yeah, she lifted? She's had arms. Oh, uh, yeah. She yeah. pulling them out at the Olympia sometimes. Oh. injuries in the gym but I have ran into shit pinched my finger put two weights together fucking got yeah. blisters yeah, it's all it's all stupid shit oh yeah right and then you gotta pop that shit right that's the shit I get come on come on power it up man last set power it up last set Come on. Go. Two more. Shoot. That's good. That's good. If I don't if I don't leave the Arnold making somebody mad at me. And I don't think I can do my job. I need to make somebody upset. Because if I was if I was competing with someone I've beat or someone that was way below me beat me, no matter what anyone says, it's disheartening. It's gonna make you upset. So we need to go make some people upset. It's the same thing, I mean, every time I start off, I'm good. I'm breathing good, then all of a sudden it's like, I'm tired, I can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah, it picks up. The, the, the picks this morning were, they were stupid. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> That's what I got to deal with. <laughs> but you know what? That's why a lot of people ain't trying to fuck with you. Because you, you go and tell them the truth. And they're not used to that. Wait, what do you mean? You're supposed to be only making me feel good. I think they think the real deal means just real when they want you to be and, and not when they don't. Right. God, leave. I don't know, for no carbs. Got that pump. It's that Cosmic Industries pre-workout. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on, make it your time. Make it your time. Oof. Make it Oof. your time. Straight down, 
Yeah, baby. Yeah. Ha, ha. I'm trying to come up, I'm trying to come and then curl my wrist back. So I was trying to, well I just need to try and get it out of here. It's fucking form, they always take over. I know everybody's always like commenting and shit about my forms and talking about them. I'm like, oh man, how do I get forms like that? Your dad's form, blah, blah, blah. If they only knew, man, they'd be taking all the toll. So sometimes I can't even get a contraction in my bicep. I should have known too because Flex Lewis, he has you know ridiculous forms, and I see him always getting him worked on, massage, all these fucking tools and shit. And now that's what I'm having to do. The, mo the area I get the most work on is all in here. Yeah, I know. I
That's good. That's good. We got a special appearance by Eddie Bracamonte. The light, light man. Yeah, the light guy. No, I just I just want everybody to know that man, like I'm so grateful for Chris, you know, and everything we're doing these last eight weeks. But man, really, if you want to change your body, it's in the off season. And having someone that can work around your schedule, push that heavy weight, motivate you. And man, I'm so thankful that I had Eddie this off season. He had to deal with me, sweating like a pig, just spotting him, sweat falling in his face. And he never complained. And he was prepping all last year. So I just want everybody to know that, man, your workout partner is everything. Your trainer, your trainer is who you need to get like dialed in and they gotta get you right and make you see things you've never seen before. But that grind day in and day out, you gotta have someone that's able to sometimes put your career in front of theirs. And that's rare in this sport, so it's a selfish sport. So I just wanna thank this guy for being there. Of course, man. And now two weeks, we're just gonna yeah. see. Yeah, and he's gonna prove uh, a lot of haters, they're gonna hate him even more because he's gonna shut him up. So I'm excited to see him in uh, a few weeks. Gonna do it. It's gonna be wild, man. Yeah, man. It's, oh, it's, gonna be nice. great. it's gonna be great. I'm actually just trying to beat the people that beat him at his last show, so <laughs> it actually was like the revenge. He trained me. What most people don't know is I almost, I should have. <laughs> Here we go. I knew it was gonna come up. <laughs> I knew it was gonna even, come up. Even, we're, we're both, Chris Acido's our coach, our nutritionist. And he's, he thinks I should have won nationals too, just to throw that in. But it's anyway. funny because anyway. Acido never told me that. But <laughs> this guy, you know what this guy is? He's like those. those those old basketball cats back in the day, he's like, man, I scored 70 points in one game. He's still talking about nationals, how he should have beat me. But you know what, man, if, if I didn't probably earn my pro card the way I did, I probably would have never went on to win New York. But I had someone pushing me at USA's, then nationals. And our nationals was the first year that they ever just brought out two or three people by themselves. They've never done that before. It's always just first call out, whoever's in that call, it comes out. They sent us away. I'm even doing an interview with Peter McGuff. And then they're like, we're calling you back out. It was like unheard of. And I'm like dying, catching my breath, out of shape. And Eddie's just like, I'm ready. He's already out there in his front relax, ready to go. I was ready to win. Man. And man, and he was, he was, man. He, it was the first time I went against someone who was tall as me, bigger than me. And I don't know how he didn't look like he was tired up there after they ran us through the, the ringer. But you know what? I think that's why I started my career off. But I'll tell you now, I'd rather not lose to anyone else but you. I'll tell you right now on camera, you heard it from me. I would rather lose to anybody but this man. And that's big too, because I talk a lot of shit. So that means if you lose to me, you're going to hear about it for the rest of your life. So that's that's a big deal. Yeah. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Come on. And that's a wrap. Uh, that was uh, biceps, the real deal. Um, I'm trying to break my body down. Uh, so sometimes I've been hitting triceps with other muscles. Uh, so today was just a bicep and posing day. Um, but man, it was, it was exactly what it needed to be, all, all out. It's easier to go all out too, just with the amount of energy you have in your body when you know that that's the only muscle you're gonna train. So two weeks out also too, man, not fucking it up is like my main goal. That's what I keep saying, man. This is the best I've looked. This is the best we're doing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm on point to kill it. So now the only thing I gotta do is not fuck it up. So not getting injured, not pushing it. Uh, that was actually Bob Ciccarella that taught me, man. If you, if you don't have it about a week or two out, you're not gonna have it. You're not gonna create muscle out of nowhere. You're not gonna be able to fill in non-existent muscles. So at this point, it's just more about getting blood and, and maintaining and shape and detail. 
So we're about two weeks out. Um, I'm gonna be launching my, uh, my supplement company, Cosmic Industries, at the booth, um, at the expo. I got, I got athlete meetings and the show, of course, so I don't know if I'll be able to be there how much on Friday and Saturday, but all day Sunday I will be there. Uh, and of course, I have victoryclothing.com. Uh, you can get all the uh, clothes there, and I'll be having a booth as well at the Arnold. Uh, might have this guy there hanging out. Yeah, and don't forget the Chris Cormier Classic on May 30th. Man, I'm gonna be guest posing. So. Guest posing out in Wisconsin. I'm coming back to the Midwest. It's gonna be a really good show. It's gonna be good to get back to the Midwest. I haven't been there since I moved. Uh, so we're about to get a little taste of the weather when we go back to Ohio. That's right. But it'll be good, it'll be a good show. And uh, come check us out and definitely come see us at the Arnold. We'll, we're gonna shut a lot of people up and we'll see what's up. <laughs>